there, my name is Amanda. I also go by Keto Ginger. I've lost over 100 pounds eating a low carb ketogenic diet and my food is delicious and really, really family friendly. I think a lot of times people get overwhelmed with all of the keto science and macros and it, it makes it seem like it's not an approachable way of eating. I am here to show you that it is. It is a very easy, easy, easy way to eat that you can feel your absolute best. Eliminating sugar from your diet is good for absolutely everyone. So whether or not you eat a low carb diet or you call yourself keto, none of that matters. You just wanna eat delicious food that has tons of veggies and healthy fats, and that's what we eat. So I'm gonna show you guys a full day of eating, what a day of eating looks like for me to lose weight. I am currently losing weight about a pound a week. I don't wanna go crazy right now. I'm just kind of easing my foot back into the weight loss side of keto. I had been maintaining my weight loss for a while, but like most, COVID kind of upped me a little bit. So I'm just navigating and going back to a more simple, basic eating plan to shed a few pounds and to feel better. So I'm gonna start my day with Bulletproof Coffee. I naturally fast, and what that means is I have never in my entire life been a breakfast eater. I'm not a breakfast person. I drink black coffee and water until around one o'clock in the afternoon every single day. I typically have a cup of collagen bulletproof coffee. That breaks my fast every day. That will be the very first thing that I have that snack-ish. So I'm gonna show you how I make that. Mug of the day is a marvelous unicorn. The world is full of magic. Yes. Think positive, mug. Listen, mug, have you, if you knew what 2020 was like, this might be stamped a little different. So if you've been here a while, you know how I make my coffee, but I wanna show you guys a new addition to my fridge that I am obsessed with. I prefer half and half to heavy whipping cream or almond milk as far as dairy in my coffee. I find that's a very personal preference situation. I've always found for myself that the carb count was close enough to any other dairy substitute. I just preferred the flavor. Anyway, have you guys seen this in your grocery store? It's by Land O'Lakes. It is a coffee house half and half. So basically half and half is half milk, half cream. This is more cream to milk ratio. So not only are the net carbs really low, but it's a little bit creamier than a regular half and half, less than one net carb per two tablespoons. It also doesn't have any carrageenan in it, which is an ingredient that's in a lot of dairy, especially things like half and half and milk. That's an inflammatory ingredient. It's a little more expensive than regular half and half, but I am obsessed obsessed okay let's make coffee already heading over to the coffee cave so um in your dirty disgraceful disgusting keurig brew yourself a cup of coffee oh yeah of course you need water huh of course you do we're back on there's never water in it when you need there to be is there so I'm gonna brew a large cup, and then I'm gonna add a scoop of my preferred Elements Keto Collagen in the chocolate flavor, and I'm gonna add about a couple tablespoons of this delicious half and half. Coffee. Scoop of collagen. I'm gonna eyeball the half and half because I like to live dangerously. If you wanna measure it, go ahead. About two tablespoons, and then I froth it up. I only drink my coffee like this once a day to break my fast or as a treat. The rest of the coffees that I drink, which comes in at around one million, is black coffee, nothing else. But this is my treat. So that's how I break my fast every single day. I've always loved bulletproof coffee. It's something that I drank from the very beginning. So when I started incorporating the preferred elements collagen, that has an MCT oil powder in it. So it's like a bulletproof collagen, one step, super easy. The half and half gives it such a creamy texture. I just, I look forward to it every day. It's delicious.
my mug has feet. <laughs> this baby and then I'll check in with you guys and show you what I'm gonna eat for lunch super easy I have leftover rotisserie chicken it doesn't get much better than just being able to throw something together in five minutes and that's exactly the kind of day that I'm having because my family are heathens and all I do is clean that is all I do I never stop cleaning and my house is always disgusting example you guys like that I'm relatable? It's one of the best compliments that you ever give me. How's this for relatable? Oh, you may think that I have some perfectly polished life, but really y'all are just strategically placed. This is from three days ago. Because you have to let it soak. Easiest lunch ever. I almost always have a rotisserie chicken in the refrigerator because it's it's good cold, it's good heated up. You can throw it on a salad. You can eat it plain, dunk it into a little bit of Caesar dressing or ranch dressing. I just find uh, rotisserie chicken to be so versatile. If you have never made my coleslaw, you absolutely have to make it. It is incredibly good. It's absolutely one of my most beloved recipes. Here's to lunch. I'll see you guys for dinner. Look who I found. He's home before eight o'clock, hallelujah. We love that for us. It's you dinner found? time. Levi, what? You found yeah, come here. Huh? Apparently we found something. Can you say hello? Hello? He's getting big, isn't he? Hey. You gonna be five? <laughs> okay, so I wanted to show you guys dinner. Dinner is an easy one. We have a really inexpensive piece of sirloin. Just hold him. Okay. You're gonna have to hold him. He wants my phone, so when the kids are around, oh, no. it's hard. He wants the help, okay. he wants the phone. You get the deal if you're a parent. So, huge piece of sirloin from Aldi. Probably like 10 bucks. It's not the greatest piece of meat there ever was. Yeah, give or take. Roughly. Decent quality, but best if you marinate it. This isn't a piece of meat that I would season up and throw on the grill. That's just not how we like to eat it. So we are going to marinate it in some of the sugar-free teriyaki marinade by G. Hughes. This is delicious. I don't feel like it needs much more than this. Maybe a splash of soy sauce or um, if you have coconut aminos, something like that. And it's just going to tender it up. How are we cooking this? I think I'm going to uh, pan sear it. Yeah. Along with some scallopes. <laughs> scallopes. Sc scallopes. We scallops. call this, it's like Florida barbecue because it's still 95 degrees outside at 8 o'clock at night. So there's no way either one of us want to go stand outside over charcoal. So we find ways to cook our favorites in the house. We had like barbecue chicken yesterday, but it was crock pot style. That's so the, great. That time of year in Florida where it's super hot. I'm not gonna lie, I missed you guys. I feel like I need to dance the whole time. I, I know, dance. they keep commenting and I'm like, he's working so many hours. Um, I talked about that in yesterday's video. I'll leave that up above. I'm stressing and I'm happy when you're here, but we're feeling it. I was very honest and said that we are, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good thing that we have a strong relationship. He's really putting in the moves for you guys. So steak. And I think I'm gonna fry up some cauliflower rice and it's just gonna be like easy, lazy stir fry. That's it, that's dinner. Steak and cauliflower rice of your choice. And scallops. And scallops. I don't know why, I don't really want scallops, really. I vetoed the scallops. We're not doing scallops, I'm not in the mood. I don't like it with stir fry. Sorry, Dan. Next time. <laughs> I'm so mean, he's like, we're having scallops. No, we're not. So cutting the sirloin into little tiny chunks, putting it in a handy dandy Ziploc bag with the teriyaki marinade, and I'll let it sit on the counter. Well, neither one of us are in the frame. I told you it's been so long since we've done a YouTube video, we have like no idea of what we're doing. <laughs> cutting the steak into tiny chunks and throwing it in a bag. Dan being a weirdo. Dan being Dan. The usual. Oh my God, don't cut your finger off. Okay, we have our bag of meat. <laughs> and I'm gonna be pretty liberal with the teriyaki sauce because I'll drain off whatever extra there is and there's a lot of meat here. It probably ended up being about a third of the bottle. 
And then I'm also going to add a bunch of fresh cracked pepper. Oh. I'm gonna get carpal tunnel from the amount of pepper that I'm adding. And then also just a couple splashes of soy sauce, nothing crazy. You can omit that if you want. So oh, I've got it in the bag here. We really like steak to be room temperature when we cook it, whether we grill it or fry it. So we're gonna mash it around in here, let it get room temperature, and then we'll fry it up. You're mashing your meat. That's, that's what you said. That's what... <laughs> that one was mine. Walmart, Publix, Winn-Dixie, you can find this just about anywhere, and the macros are awesome. We had a red pepper that was kind of going bad in the fridge, so I went ahead and threw that in as well. You could add mushrooms, you could add onions, you could really add whatever you wanted. Stir fry is really like just throw in what you have on hand. So now it is teriyaki steak and red pepper. Whoop whoop. So cauliflower rice is like a chameleon. You can do whatever you want to it. We basically burn the shit out of it for stir fry. Butter, soy sauce, garlic, cook it until it looks like fried rice. It's never gonna be actual fried rice, but fried Close. rice light. Close. You make such a bigger mess when you cook, but you're cooking, I'm thankful. Steak, pepper mixture, teriyaki, beautiness goes in. And we'll basically just toss this around until it's got a little sear on it and it's around a medium, medium rare. Easy peasy. Yep. Fried rice is done. We basically turn the heat off and just let it sit there and get a crispy side, then toss it all together. It's so good. You get little crispy bits. It's really a winner. I love cauliflower rice. And then we're gonna put this on top. Super easy, could be like an under 30 minute meal, no problem, and pretty inexpensive. Yes. There it is, so easy, delicious, and will kind of kick like a Chinese food craving in the booty. Dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating. I'm gonna try really hard just to show you what a regular day looks like for me. I sometimes forget that not everyone I sometimes forget that even a super easy day for me, food wise, might give you a little bit of inspiration on what to choose for your menu. I don't know what's up with this little orb on my phone, but something's going on. I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of keto eating. I have to remind myself that if even when it seems super simple and mundane to me, if you are new or looking for fresh ideas, it's just nice to see what a regular normal person eats every day that's trying to eat low carb. So I hope you enjoyed it, especially the Dan cameo. He talks about you guys all the time. Thank you for always being so supportive of our family and what life looks like for us now. We love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of our family. And don't forget that the Fat Kid Keto ebook is on sale, 50% off, five bucks. So if you haven't gotten it yet, go for it. The coleslaw is in there. The coleslaw recipe is in there as well. So I will see you guys really soon.